more or less, the art of comparing personality traits. Hello there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are venturing into a very interesting and useful area of English language learning, comparing and contrasting personality traits. This video specifically focuses on using comparative adjectives in the context of describing personality traits. Ready? Let's dive in. Comparative adjectives are used when we want to compare and contrast the characteristics of two people. It's formed by either adding er to the end of the adjective for one syllable adjectives or using the word more before the adjective for adjectives with two or more syllables. For example, the word kind becomes kinder and generous becomes more generous when comparing people's kindness or generosity. When we compare traits using comparative adjectives, we follow the structure. Subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus then plus object. Here's an example. John is friendlier than Mark. You could also use comparative adjectives to talk about changes. Subject plus verb plus comparative adjective. For instance, he's becoming more confident. Not all comparative adjectives follow the regular patterns. Some are irregular and you'll have to learn them individually. The most common ones include good, which becomes better, bad, which becomes worse, and far, which can become farther or further. Now it's time to practice. Try making your own sentences using comparative adjectives. Consider making comparisons between friends, family members, or famous personalities. Don't forget to incorporate regular and irregular comparative adjectives. That's it for today's video on comparing personality traits using comparative adjectives. Remember, Practice is key to mastering this skill, so don't shy away from making your own comparisons. You're getting better and better at English every day. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, happy learning!